So when is my giant anaconda going to have babies? When? 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 It's really hard to say. It's typically about 135 days from ovulation. The problem is with a giant snake like this, it's hard to pinpoint the actual ovulation. I think we're looking at about two weeks from now. A few weeks ago, we actually ultrasounded and we actually could see some little babies. Whoa, there's a little baby snake right there. You can see it's actually curled up inside. You can see the vertebrae and everything. Oh my gosh, you can actually see the vertebrae of the snake. I have a feeling that they're fully developed now. So what do you say we try to ultrasound her again and see if the babies are bigger? So two thirds of her body are full of baby anacondas, or at least I hope. So we could pretty much ultrasound her anywhere because there's all babies right through here. And look at how her scales are spread. She is loaded. So let's just go ahead and see what we got. We're gonna just hold her real quick and see if we can see babies in here. Oh, I can see like all of them, which is really weird. But I don't see spines, so that is really unusual. Oh, there they are. There's the spines right there. You can see the spines all the coiled up. I think the problem is now is that they've gotten so big that it's hard to really see. Look at the coil right there. You can see it right in there where it kind of coils over. Look at that baby snake right there. Yep, they're all in there. Here's another one over here. Hard to say. The only thing that I don't like right now is that I am seeing some masses that don't look like they have spines, which tells me that there might be some infertile ovum in here too, rather than having 100% fertile baby. And that happens with live bears. A lot of times they'll have like, you know, two thirds or three quarters live babies and then some infertile ovum. So that's certainly a possibility as well. But we definitely see some spines in here too. You can definitely see them like right here. You can see the spine of the snake right there. So we know that there's some babies in here, but we definitely see some ovum as well. Like right here, you can see that spot right there. That's actually an ovum. That to me doesn't look like an actual snake. That looks like there's probably an infertile ovum right over there. And then we know that ivy, but then look at that. Look at all of the spines right there. Look at that. How crazy is that? We're definitely seeing babies in here for sure. And they're big already. Oh my One side is over here and the other side is all the way over here. You can see the spine wire all the way around. That's exciting. Now the big question is, how many babies does she have? If I went through from the front end and counted all the way to the back, I could tell you how many babies are through ultrasonic, but that would be just too much stress for her, and I'm not going to do that to her. Not to mention it's a lot of work. And by the way, I think uh, Ariana is very, very curious what's going on. She wants to know how many babies Ivy's going to have, too. But now it's just a waiting game, guys. In the comments, let me know what you think. I think probably within two weeks, but I don't really know. Let me know. And if you guess the correct date, I'll send you something. Put the date that you think Ivy is going to have babies in the comments, and while you're down there, hit that like button for me. If you don't mind and subscribe to this channel, it would mean a lot to me. Mike, what do you think this button does? No idea. Beep. Is this like the original MacBook or something, dude? You got knobs like a rocket ship. What do you what else do you think we're getting ultrasound? I don't know. Let me, let me see this. Wait, no, you forgot the gel. Usually spit does the trick. It's gonna be a little cold. Man! Dude, dude, I'm worried, bro. I don't see anything in there, man. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. dude, you see that? I did see it. Well, I got gel going on, but I see it. Whoa! What? That's a tumor. Well, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> what is that? I'm in your eyeball. <laughs> My bad, dog. <laughs> oh, let's go find something else. Don't judge. Guys. Oh, what is on your face? <laughs> How much did you use? It's dripping. You know women put that on their tummies? What, my forehead? Oh, you're gonna look too? Go ahead. Uh, Nothing up there, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's our conclusion. We've already reached that half of the message. <laughs> Alright, Mike. Did you see that? What? He stole my ice cream. Hold that. Get him! Get back! Never do that again! Got him. You know, I still get time to spend with Jazz and Ariana, but it really stinks that it's been a while since I've been able to interact with Ivy with any consistency. I used to be able to take her out all the time. And you guys know she was my spirit animal. I mean, I love her. And she's such an amazing animal. Just getting an opportunity to play with her, just see how amazing and inquisitive she is. She always would come right up to me. Well, once she's been pregnant, obviously we haven't been able to really mess with her. We want to leave her alone as much as possible because we don't want to mess with her baby. So it's definitely been hard over the last few months not being able to muck with her at all because she is such an amazing animal. Don't get me wrong, Jazz is amazing, Ariana is amazing, but there's something special about Ivy. So I can't wait till not only I get all those babies, which I'm super excited about, but also get the time that I can spend with her again after she's done and gotten a few meals into her and getting back to the old interaction. Not only excited about babies, but also I've been missing my girl Ivy. We have to take this bad boy to the street. Ten steps ahead of you. You're what? Ten steps ahead of you. What the heck does that mean? Huh. Oh, for we're free to get it going. Smart, smart. Gotta build that clientele. Ultra my sound. Should we do ultrasound? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like the beauty store. I like it. No, come up here. I gotta show you something. I got something to show you too. What? <laughs> Are 
Are you kidding me? This is the exact same hey. sign. Great minds think alike. Let's go show your mom. Look at her sign. Genius. Yeah. We're, think, we're starting an ultrasound business. You have to start by giving it away for free. And then you charge like No. No. Business. We're not. That's not a business. But we're doctors. It is yeah. not a doctor. <laughs> You're it's not Dr. a doctor. Brian, Dr. Mike. Mike. Brian, Dr. Mike, and Dr. Noah. Where are you doing these? You're right now in front of the Reptero. <laughs> no, no. You're not doing this in front of the Reptero. Yeah. 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 No, you're not. Why? We, we took an online free. test to get our That's doctor. a lie. You should see That's a lie. You should see <laughs> not a good business. Let's go. We're going to jail. Let's do this. <laughs> Speaking about excited about babies, it's really amazing that this is year number two for Diddy and Dixie. Last year she was gravid and she actually messed up her eggs because we had a kind of smaller nest box. And what ended up happening was she poked them with these really sharp nails and most of the eggs actually had punctures and none of them had. Well this year we're going to do something completely different and make a gigantic nest box in with her. She laid August 8th of last year and she is loading up with eggs right now. You can see her plumping up like you can't believe. So she's definitely going to be ready. I have a feeling she's going to lay before August. August 8th this year. So probably in two weeks or so, in the beginning of July, we're gonna go ahead and make that big nest box. Literally about a quarter of her cage. It's gonna be about a foot and a half to two foot deep of soil so she can dig in there and have her eggs this year. Could you imagine little baby Dixies and Diddy? That would be absolutely incredible. Like I said, it was super cool to get eggs last year, but I was definitely disappointed we didn't hatch them. Definitely have some really cool animals that we're gonna have babies with this year. So the deal is, Chris, one of our animal educators, it's actually his birthday. No one knew about it. He told one person, he said, do not say anything. So uh, let's go get him a cake. Are we doing ice cream cake? Maybe. Thank you to the Dairy Queen. Yeah, hi, I just need a birthday cake. And are you for eight inch or 10 inch? 10 inch is good. Oh boy, cake. Yeah. So the difference between egg laying snakes and live bearing snakes isn't as different as you actually think. This is actually an albino ball python here that actually was bred to an albino pie. Looks like she's got a few bad eggs in her. She's got a couple eggs kind of rolled all over, trying to get mama off over here, but the majority of the clutch looks pretty good. A live bearing snake actually will kind of have an egg inside her that's got a membrane around it. And so she's actually gestating the eggs internally. So when we pull these eggs and put them in the incubator, basically what mama is doing is doing the exact same thing, but in her belly, right? So that's basically the only difference between the animals that actually will lay eggs and the live bearing animals. Same amount of time from the time an ovulation to hatching on an egg clutch is compared to the same amount of ovulation to when an adult snake has live young. So this girl ended up having two, four, six, eight good eggs, three little sluggers. All these are going to be albino because both were albino and they're going to be het for pie. Ultrasounds, free ultrasounds. Punk for some free ultrasounds. Oh, oh, oh for me! What semi does a hot oh. for someone? That guy looked mad. Oh, he covered it. He had his hand on his thing and then he read it and he was like, no. I'm telling you, the grill market is working. We just gotta stand out here for like 27 hours and we'll be rich. We'll be dark. Honk for free ultrasound! Honk, 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 honk! Honk for free ultrasound! What are you guys doing? You want a free ultrasound? I think we just got our first customer. I mean... Yeah! <laughs> Where the hell did you get that donut? She happens to be a pastel ghost female. She's bred to a ghost champagne, which is called a mimosa. And basically, why would live bearers be any different than egg layers? Like, what is the difference between the two of them? And typically what ends up happening is that egg layers are oftentimes in areas where eggs won't get killed by other things. I mean, certainly there's a lot of attrition in the wild with, you know, things eating it and so on like that. But the harsher the climate are the harder chances that eggs have to hatch in the wild, the more likely that a female is gonna internally gestate. So basically you have it. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not always that way. Because oftentimes you'll have egg layers and live bears in the same geographical range. But that's typically how mother nature works, right? It wants the best chance for the babies. If the best chance is to gestate, then they have live bears. If the best chance is to egg lay, then they egg lay. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine gorgeous eggs. Well, it all started when I was born. This is not that kind of therapy. There you go. That. And that is his tummy. Jake. This yeah. might be a little cold. It's still free, right? That's what we have to remove afterwards. All right, ready? Re re remove? Let's get it all nice and slobber gobbery. Fill up that whole circle there. Oh, oh. It wasn't in the test. I'm starting to get a feeling that you're not licensed. Uh, yeah, do, what makes you say that? That right there. That's a baby. Is that a turkey leg? Yeah, that's a that's a freaking turkey leg, dude. Well, now we know why your stomach hurts. You guys don't just swallow turkey legs whole? We're not snakes. That'll be $50. You said it was free. We ain't leaving this basement till you pay. It was free to come down into the basement, but the ultrasound was actually $50. I don't have the money right now. That's fine. We can hook you up with a payment plan mm. if that works for you. That's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want a free ultrasound? <laughs> no. 
Is this permanent? So basically what I mean is you think about an anaconda, right? It actually comes from the Amazon basin, right? It's gonna live in water. That Amazon basin floods all the time, which by the way, this is a pastel female. Ooh, she's got a few slugs in here, but she does have some good eggs too, so that's okay. Bred to a pewter pea lesser bongo. Absolute ripper of an animal. There should be some really good stuff, but you figure there's probably not a good chance of survival if an anaconda had a clutch of eggs and laid it because of floods and moisture and predation and stuff like that. So mother nature basically says, now internally incubate those eggs and they'll hatch basically inside you in this membrane and then after they hatch they end up getting rid of them right and that's live birth which is pretty cool there's two four five good eggs three slugs not too bad i hope you guys understand live birth compared to egg laying now okay chris oh happy birthday to you love the candles love the candles okay. Yay! 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 wow third time's the charm perfect look at that not working. Oh. Yeah. Happy birthday, runner. I am so excited for Ivy's babies to come out. Again, down in the comments, let me know what your best date is. If you win, I'll reach out to you and send you something. It's gonna be amazing when these babies are out and about. And speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember- What you call one of those uh, uh, intermissions where you like, well, that's not what it's called. What is it? <laughs> <laughs>